Russia backing off? I'm Ben Thomas with an AP News Minute. Russia's military says it will fundamentally cut back operations near Ukraine's capital and the northern city of Chernihiv. Russia's deputy defense minister says the move is meant to increase trust in the talks with Ukraine. President Biden's reaction? We'll see. I don't read anything into it until I see what their actions are. Western officials say Moscow is reinforcing troops in the Donbass region, where Ukraine's best-trained and best-equipped forces are concentrated. In other news, the Food and Drug Administration has authorized a second booster of the Pfizer or Moderna COVID-19 vaccine for Americans aged 50 and older if it's been at least four months since their last vaccination. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recommends the extra shot as an option, but it's stopping short of urging those eligible to get it right away. On Wall Street, stocks closed with more gains. The Dow up 338 points, or 1 percent. The S&P gained 1.2 percent. The Nasdaq, 1.8. I'm Ben Thomas. Facebook's safety teams protect billions of people each month. They lead the industry in stopping bad actors online. That's because they've invested more than $13 billion in the last five years, quadrupling their safety and security teams to 40,000 people and investing in industry-leading AI technology to enhance safety on their platforms. It's working. Over the last several months, they've taken action on 1.7 billion fake accounts, 51.7 million violent and graphic posts, 62 million explicit adult posts, 9.3 million drugs and firearms sales posts. But working to reduce harmful and illicit content on their platforms is never done. Keeping your feed safe will continue to be everyone's priority at Facebook. Learn more about how they're helping people connect and share safely at about.fb.com safety.